Did you know MPC has independent track length? It's right here. Let me show you how I use it. So here I have this drum track. All right. And so I have this hi-hat I want to add to it. Now, typically, what would you do? You would just press record, play, and then you would just tap that out the full two bars, right? But no, I'm not going to do that. Basically, I'm going to set this to one beat. And this is what I'm going to do. If you notice, I only tap the pad one time, but it keeps going. Another way I, I use this is to add variety. So say you got this hi-hat here, right? So I played this out the full uh, two bars. But if I go here and change track length, I can make it shorter or I can take it to two beats. Now it adds a little bit more variety. See, I can take it to three beats. Now this is all the same performance, but it's playing differently. I'm going to show you a trick that I always use because I find that this adds a nice little feel or swing naturally. All right, so basically I'm going to take this here and I'm going to put that on one beat. One beat. I'm going to record a kick. Okay, so that kick is going, right? So I go to the next track and I take this and I put this to two beats. All right, so now that's repeating the two beats, right? So now I go here to track three, and I'll find a hi-hat. I'll put this on one beat. All right, now say I will go here to nudge. Now I'll nudge it. Give it that bounce. This is real good for anything, you know what I mean? Especially the West Coast type of uh, vibe joints.